All right, so this video goes out to the retro gamers out there. Um, <clears throat> so for the people who have their legally obtained ROMs and they want to organize it and see what they have, ROM Vault is a good tool to do that. I've been using it for years and I kind of like it. But this, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're actually going to install it in Unraid. So if that sounds good to you, let's get started. All right, so over here in um, Unraid, what we have is we have our typical Unraid setup. We'll go over here to shares. I already set up a retro gaming um, share on this computer, and I also already set up the Windows share to connect to it. So what I want to do next is go down over here to apps, and I want to look at for ROM Vault. And then once I have ROM Vault uh, <clears throat> selected, I can see that I have it up here. And then this says it would take the DAT file to clean. This way we can organize our collection, see what we have and what we don't have. So we'll go ahead and hit install. And then one thing to notice is like right here that several items in the help menu crashes the application. Um, I don't think that's going to be a big deal, um, but if it is to you, then just download the regular executable and just run it on your window machine. But for me, um, I like Docker, so I, I want to run it into the Docker container. So go down here where we have the DAT root directory. This right here is going to be installed on the um, app data, uh, which is on my cache drive, which I necessarily don't want per se. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to take this and I'm going to back that up to user and click on it and then go down here to where it says retro gaming. And then that's going to be my um, dat root. And I'm going to do the same thing down here. I'm going to back this up and then I'm going to change this to the um, ROM root. That way it's on my bigger drives. <clears throat> And then same thing on um, two sort. I'm going to sit there and take that and I'm going to make that into my retro gaming. And then I'm going to this up there and do the two sort um, on there. Now you can really put this anywhere you want. Um, it just typically, you know, my cache drives are pretty small. So if you have a big collection, you're going to want to put them on a larger drive. And that's what we're doing here, just putting all our stuff on there, right? And then we'll go ahead and we'll hit apply. And then once it's apply, we just wait for everything to uh, install. All right, so now that we're done, um, we just go ahead and hit done. And then we'll go over here back to our um, Docker containers. And we have the ROM vault right here installed. So I always like to go down here and check the logs out. And it looks like here that we have no writable cache directories in the font config error. So let's take a look at that. So if we go over here to our shares and we go into our app data and we go into the ROM vault and we go into the XDG and we go into our cache right here. And this is our um, font configuration. We'll just kind of click on that and go to permissions. And I think what we want to do on this is just go ahead and do the read write um, just for that file and hit start. And now we'll go back here to Docker and I'm just going to go ahead and restart that container. And once that starts back up, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to look at that log file again. So if I go down here to logs, now we're not really getting any um, errors with that. Uh, we do have a couple of warnings down here, but I think that's okay. So we'll just go ahead and exit out of this, and then we'll go ahead and go into the web UI. And if we notice right here, we have the web UI, and I'll show you how to set that up here in a second. All right, so now that we're at the round ball, what we want to do is we want to update the dats. And to update the dats, uh, we need a dat file. And basically the dat file is just a text file of all the 
games a particular system has. It doesn't contain any games itself. Um, to get one of those, you go over here to Datomatic, and then we hit the download button, and we can hit the standard dat, and then we can set there, and um, actually what we want to do is we want to go down here to the daily, and then we hit standard dat, and then we go all the way down here, and we hit request, and this will give us all the um, dat files for the game system, and again, I don't know, these don't contain any games, but it gives you a list of games for that particular system, and then you can add your legally owned games to those and see what you have and see what you're missing. So now that once we have that downloaded, what we want to do is we want to go down to our desktop. And then over here, I have the note intro game pack, and I'm just going to extract that, and I'm just going to hit extract all and extract it in that folder and then once that's extracted that has all the um, dat files for all those games and then we can see what we have so now that that's downloaded um, we'll go over here to the no intro one and I'm just going to double click that and then down here what I want is I want this Atari 2600 one and I'm just going to hit um, copy that and then once that's copy, I'll go into my retro gaming and I'm going to put that in my dat root and I'm going to hit paste. Then what I'm going to end up doing is I need some games. So I got these games over here and I'm going to throw those into the sort because those are the ones I want to see that I have and then put it over into the um, ROM vault. So we click go back over here and we'll click back on um, ROM vault and now I can update the dat and you'll see I'll have the Atari, I have zero games and I'm missing 782 and if I click on that it just kind of shows me what games are over here. Now <clears throat> Since we drop those uh, ROMs into the to sort folder, we go ahead and hit the scan ROM. And this scans the ROMs for any games that we have, like in the sort. So we have it down here. It has these games right here that's showing purple. And if I show the legend um, over here, I guess it's not going to let me show the legend, but whatever. Um, we'll go down here to find fixes and now we have the yellow so we know that these are going to be good and then we're going to hit fix ROM and it's going to take these ROMs and it's going to move those over to our ROM folder saying that they're good. We'll go ahead and close out and now I don't have any files in my sort folder but in the ROM you notice that I have this game here and it says it's good and then if I scroll down, that game's good. I can scroll down, and then we have more good games that we have up here. And what this program allows you to do is if you're collecting your you know, ROMs, you can actually go back and see what ones you're missing. And that way, you know, when you're at your local shop trying to get a new game, you know you're looking for a particular game to add to your collection. Then you just go ahead and buy it, and then you can get your ROM on your computer and um, add it to this list. And that's pretty much it. Um, so, you know, enjoy doing your collection, and um, I'll catch you next time. All right, so after ROM vote transfers your um, files over, we go back to our share drive, and we go in here to the ROM root folder, and then we'll see the file and well, the folder, and then inside the folder, you see the files uh, of your games already organized. And it's simple as that.